The Ukrainian military is finally counterattacking five or six miles from Pokrovsk and its vital supply lines, making the Russian takeover of the city no longer seem inevitable. Forbes writes that Ukrainian observers blamed the months-long retreat of the Tavria Operational Strategic Group to the east of Pokrovsk not on a shortage of troops, but on the absence of fortifications. Not long ago, society was talking about how the transfer of additional brigades to the Pokrovsk direction would not change anything, notes the Ukrainian analytical group Frontelligence Insight. And now we see that this really does matter. There is no immediate prospect of dramatic changes in the Pokrovsk area. For now, Ukrainian reinforcements, at least the Karadag National Guard Brigade, the 12th Azov Brigade, and the 93rd Mechanized Brigade, are conducting small counterattacks, the main effect of which is to slow or slightly push back Russian positions. But the Russians cannot afford to lose momentum. Every day they do not advance is a day for the Ukrainians to consolidate and strengthen their position around Pokrovsk before the coming winter. This has implications for the war in Ukraine. The upcoming battle for Pokrovsk will be the culmination of the enemy's offensive operation in the southwestern theater of military operations in 2024, predicts the Ukrainian Center for Defense Strategies. The Karadag Brigade's fierce action in Selidovo a frontline town southeast of Pokrovsk, may be the most significant of the recent counterattacks. For several days, the brigade's T-64 tanks have been blasting and capturing Russian tanks and combat vehicles trying to penetrate Selidovo along the main east-west road into the town, the high terrain in and around Pokrovsk encourages the attacking forces to be directed toward the lower southern approaches to the city. It also directs them toward Selidovo, whose peak is about 100 feet below the highest point in Pokrovsk. The Russians need to pass through Selidovo to be able to deliver a clear blow to Pokrovsk. Without ensuring security in the Selidov area, the enemy will not be able to sustain its offensive, the Ukrainian Center for Defense Strategies explained. But now that fresh and well-equipped Ukrainian troops are in Selidov and advancing, the capture of Pokrovsk by Russian troops, which previously seemed inevitable, is becoming less and less likely. According to Deep State, the situation in the Pokrovsky district of Donetsk region has changed slightly, it became known that the Russian invaders managed to advance. The enemy's advance was recorded in the city of Ukrainsk, Selodovsky urban community of the Pokrovsky district, which is located approximately 30 kilometers from the city of Pokrovsk. Germany will supply Ukraine with 12 additional PZH-2000 self-propelled guns and 77 Leopard 1A5 as part of its ongoing military support in response to Russian aggression. German Defense Minister Pistorius made the relevant announcement during a press conference, highlighting the importance of this new aid package in strengthening Ukraine's defense capabilities. Delivery of these Leopard tanks is part of a trilateral cooperation between Germany, Denmark, and the Netherlands. The 77 Leopard 1A5 tanks, expected to be delivered in the coming months, will join those previously sent as part of the same cooperation. Minister Pistorius explained that the armored vehicles are part of a broader effort to strengthen Ukraine's maneuver and counteroffensive capabilities. Leopard, which is a German main battle tank, is widely used in Kiev's counteroffensive against Russia. It should be noted that Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky visited Germany on an official trip in June where he discussed defense cooperation between the two countries. During the visit, Zelensky and his German counterpart, Frank-Walter Steinmeier discussed the security situation in Ukraine and the current needs amid Russian attacks against the Ukrainian energy infrastructure and military operations along the front. Ukraine is believed to be using several leopards in its incursion into Kursk region that started in early August. Responding to reports about leopards' use in Russian territory, German finance minister Christian Lindner said earlier that Ukraine was defending itself against the aggressor and exercising its right to self-defense and that weapons were transferred under the responsibility of Ukraine.